Uh, this is a tutorial on how to create an applet on complex numbers. Uh, I'm working on GeoGebra Classic 5. I myself am a beginner and I've just created a few, so that's what I've done. Uh, there might be better ways, but um, this is what I know. So you click on, uh, I want to change the, uh, you know, I want to name the axis. So I go on, go on graphics, select ax axis and name it real, enter. Select Y axis, name it imaginary, enter. The next thing is I'm going to select on the pointer icon and select complex number. I just want to, so I'm going to click and click two times. And then select on the drag icon. You can drag these complex numbers and you can move them around all over the plane. Now I want to label this um, Z1 with name and value. So on the right hand side, you can see the settings. I change it to name and value. Same Z2, I change name and value. And I'm going to add them. So I go to the input bar at the bottom, press Z underscore 1 plus Z underscore 2, enter. You get Z3. Now Z3, you cannot drag it because it's dependent on Z1 and Z2. And you can make very interesting observations, like if they are conjugate pairs, then you know. Um, uh, Z3 is on the real axis, or if you know there are mirror images or reflection about the X, uh, sorry, Y axis, then it's purely imaginary. Um, again, I want to see the name and value for Z3. I click on that and I change name and value. All right. Okay. Now I want to publish this um, uh, applet, so I'm going to click on share. It takes me to my uh, account. Now here you can you know put out put the title adding um, adding complex numbers. It's the same thing. Um, it looks a bit yeah, same thing. You can you know drag the uh, numbers and you'll get um, Z Z three. Now, uh, this is interesting. You can add an element, you can add text, you can add video, you can write down questions. Now, when you do questions, you, there is an option to do multiple choice or, you know, just in any question. So once you're done, done with all, the, all this, you click on save and close. And it takes you to your home page where you click on resources. You can look at your own resources. And now this is shared with the link. I can make it public like that. So I can make it public. Now that's what I did. I can have a look at what we just did. Yeah, same thing. And if you would have added questions, it would show. And that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching.